I listened to KDR who spoke about the fact that the government should not be blamed for promoting hate speech. That's what he said, and I noted down. I listened to KDR who said uh, national integration is uh, something promoted by the state. And I listened to him now who talked about we should think of personalities and not institutions. You could imagine the way people think. Look at the myopic reasoning of people of this nature. You can now know that if they are made leaders today, we are finished. Just put KDR, Divisional Officer of Boya, we are gone. So, if you look at this caliber of persons, it tells you that their brains have been brainwashed in a way that they are taking us back to 17th century. And the bad thing is that my brother has done political science at the University of Boya. Anyway, it's not surprising that even those who are professors in political science and all the like, we still speak like from four, like like from four children or class three children or class seven children, because once the political gimmicks of cankat womism enters your middle of Blogata, because of bread and saloon, you are finished. Reasoning, of, reasoning faculty is brought to square zero. Now look at the whole issue here. I would tell you that how do we fight all of this? But we fight all of this by putting in place the right reasoning. If I tell that national integration is promoted by the state, when I know that the state is the one promoting this unity, it means the formula I have already gives me a wrong answer, whether I like it or not. If I tell you that the government should not be blamed for hate speech, it's the people to be blamed. Who do we expect to enforce particular decisions? You and I cannot enforce particular decisions, but a government that is kicking as not kangaroo will put in place systems that you will now know that if you falter, you blame yourself. In the separation of power in the US, I have two people. I once spoke to my friend Keza Wumwe, I forgot, I'm sure he has forgotten. That if not of the strong institution in America, Donald Trump would have refused to leave. <laughs> I am telling you, if not the strong institution, Donald Trump would have told you, I need to come over to the White House. The Caterpillar will move me. But the system is carefully made in a way that once election is over, you start getting second services leaving you quietly. You want to come one morning, your bodyguard is no longer there. You want to come one morning, your pilot is no longer. You see a new pilot, and you don't know how to deal with him because he has been sent by the State Department to take care of the affairs of the new president coming in. Before you know it, you become irrelevant. Automatically, you become irrelevant. If Trump did not enter the last plane on the day appointed. That was to carry his belongings to his private resident. <laughs> Trump would have checked, would have checked to leave the White House. And bodyguard would have bundled him up because his time has expired. And you know something? The bodyguards would have bonded Trump up would have been the bodyguard he has been seen before. That he could give them order. It would have been new bodyguard that he does not even know where they are coming from. They would have said, Mr. President, we are so we are living here and now. That's what we call strong institutions. And that's why even in Nigeria, you cannot rule more than second term. No. Ghana, you cannot rule more than two terms. South Africa, you cannot rule more than two terms. In Senegal, Makinsa is trying now, but people are on the street to, to tell the constitution. They said, no, Papa, we said you cannot rule more than two terms. It's no way. That's why Senegalists are on the streets. What has caused this? Strong institutions. When you take the bread and sardine syndrome, you think that because he is all more powerful, he can do and undo. And that's why there are some persons that will do the things they want to do and go scot free. Ebala Sebastian, who was arrested on issues of hate speech, has been released. Yes, Yaounde, he has been released. And he was not taken to a cell. It was he was he was placed there on a few hours at the court cell, not even in Kondengi. Yaounde promotes that again. Ebala said women from Northwest, Southwest are stinky, they are smelly, they are smelly. He, that arrest was because there was so much talk. We expect people like Kedia in this government to say, how can you abuse our sisters? In fact, Kedia has sold his color to a devil. Because when they say women, your own mother is included. Your own sister, your own cousin, your own auntie is included in that deal. And he's here blowing grammar. Grammar of no return and grammar of no of 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 of, of inutility. So look at the situation where we find ourselves. That we are no longer speaking the truth because we have one gain here or the other. Now, how do we bail ourselves out? If people like Kedia 
to tell his civilian parliamentarians who are the majority under fraudulent methods that they should put in place or put in place a measure in the National Assembly that should highly incriminalize hate speech because it's in the penal code eh, constitution which runs between three months to three years is not even respected that a governor calls both dogs and he is watching and talking about please don't promote his speech and people are watching him Cameroonians, you, that, that government your own day is already finished that we are looking at a situation whereby somebody will just sit and stigmatize you because you are coming from a particular area President Paul can be saying one thing and his ministers and his errand boys including his political acolytes are doing the opposite all right so it's a call for concern okay. and i think that if you have to learn the institutions are primordial to put institutions that have no use wipe them national bilingualism and multiculturalism they should go asleep they should instead go to the head of state right through the prime minister please we need empowerment if the problem is not there it means they're only eating our budget how many billion do they manage for what work are they doing all right. they are a waste of resources to the Cameroonian budget system. Thank you. This one, uh, Far Evis, when I hear the way he talk, and wait, wait, talk. Um, you know, I always like to tell and I say, we we must always contextualize. We must bring it to our context. We must bring it to our own reality, right? When we hear or we watch things like this happen around the world or in whichever country, even in La Republic, let's bring it to the Amazonian context. And see how it fits in our own society and that's why we need to do what we call positive education positive sensitization and at the same time we are informing you on the things that are happening now he is talking about building institutions uh, and institutions and strong men when i come again discover and say for example as you struggle people they way they don't arrogate to themselves powers let me say power the way People in the way they, 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 they even talk about power the way they get away, even pass the struggle. So you see, people they don't be clinged to their groups. People they, they don't attach themselves more to their groups than to actually the struggle of, for independence of the people of Southern Cameroon. People they way, if their group never talks anything about thing, they know talks in about thing, they remain quiet. So people in the way, if their leader Never can give go ahead, they don't go open their mouth talk about something. Person they way he go see for no for no stand for yeso. Eh? Person go talk say this so eh. You know, maybe he will talk say, okay, this color now white. People they were when they see white, until they are leader for their group talk, say that thing now white. They no agree. Better if their leader can't talk say now black, they'll call and say now black. Now, now, now it's that now freedom that. They never yet be ready to be free. They are not yet ready to be free. My, my dear people, my dear Southern Cameroonians, I'm just here to let you understand that we have to build institutions. We have to build institutions, not men, not strong people. Ambazonia should be a, a, a society with strong institutions and not strong people. He talk about uh, La Republic, even uh, Donald Trump. If, if, if America not be a strong law, then Donald Trump will surely leave office during his first term. Not true. Now because hey, Donald Trump fear, he fear the institution where they in place. You understand? And by so doing, the issue he, he, he immediately put place for check and balances. When I see how Donald Trump go kind kind court case, there. when I see when I see that judge laugh and laugh with you, if Donald Trump fall shock, they will they will nail it. When I see one the way he fall shock, they will give money, pay him, he will pay that budget. That, that is the advantage or that is what you enjoy when we call separation of powers and democracy you have strong institutions and not strong men for la republic for example we have strong men now whether they will not hear the cop or biase na le lion the cop the cop is a bias or a kind thing come for example you have struggle for bia the day so eh you will watch me for here if i if i don't talk call the they are your leader in name you can't want fini fabiano ally I lie. We are not taking a leader. Then they even be important. Say pass, mommy happy. Some of our leader they say be important. Pass daily matter. Some of our leader they say be important. Pass the common man way for ground zero. 
So when a leader they say be important for a pass the struggle itself. No leader no day way he be indispensable. No man no day way God creating a say me come for a Brazilian struggle can be a Brazilian struggle. So when a leader they fed they say way they, they don't see the struggle like opportunity to make their budget. So when they don't see the struggle like another avenue for talks on their fake fake prophecy then how they be God or then they assume they can be for struggle. Two thousand and this is in clarity today. So what they did, man, don't talk much. I'm go. But I don't tell you I say, Ambazonia need to build strong institution, not strong men. Why? Why you ever think say this was on lead and I got today? Why you ever think so? Who is God? <laughs> Ambazonia show na rocket science. Na rocket science. It be very difficult. Na 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 na, na space machine way. Person give for enter inside, drive and go for Mars. Wait a bit difficult for them. Ma go as soon as for our next update. Would it be country where we will respect what institution they are not men, not people? People they do for that struggle. They, they say so when they say they be don't do struggle for 35 years. Now at 30, how many years they don't do Even one square meter, even their compound for their village, they never capture them. But they did for that struggle, they, they been a mock. Men are more. They don't tell us say actions speak louder than what. Any man we say stand for Ambazonia, listen for a action then. Yet way they support them. Follow it up in this particular domain. You go know whether they with Ambazonia or not. They will carry on their mouth say they be nationalists and they be this, they be that. Nationalists, where you go ball at people for ground zero. That republic do this, you do the same. When they want to say that, but we don't do them now. You compare us now with the republic. My brother, I'm going to go myself soon again for our next update. Thank you.